Hi everybody, we are here to study the partial fractions. The word partial has been derived from part. In our previous classes, we studied that how we can add or subtract two fractions and find their resultant. Let's say we have a fraction 2 over 3x plus 4 minus 3x plus 2 and we are here to find its result or the resultant fraction. So what do we do? First of all we take its LCM that is 3x plus 4 into x plus 2 and in the numerator we get 2 multiplied by x plus 2 minus 3 times 3x plus 4 solving above we get 2x plus 4 minus 3 times 3x is 9x minus into plus is minus and 3 4s are 12 in the denominator we get 3x plus 4 into x plus 2 further solving we get 2x minus 9x equals minus 7x plus 4 minus 12 we get minus 8 over 3x plus 4 into x plus 2 so this is the solution to the problem 2 over 3x plus 4 minus 3 over x plus 2 this result here is known as resultant fraction which comes out as a result of solving two or more than two fractions or partial fractions. Now we are going to study partial fractions. What actually does partial fraction mean? Here we have studied that the sum of two fractions is a resultant fraction. But now we will be going to study how the parts of fraction can be found from its resultant fraction. To study this, let's say we move on to another example. That is 7x plus 2 over x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 1. This is the resultant fraction. And now we have to find what are the actual fractions by sum of whose we got this result.